Hey, welcome to Pusher. Today, I'm gonna to show you what we feel is gonna be a game-changing product for the 6.7 Power Stroke equipped trucks. And if you're familiar with our product line already, you probably recognize the substantial investment we've already made in supplying a full line of intake system upgrades for these trucks, one of which is our race off-road only intake system. And early on in the development of that system, we kind of sat down and said, look, we gotta figure out how to get the gains we're seeing with this to the OEM tuned emissions on trucks because it's, they're substantial. And so we devoted the last few years a substantial percentage of our engineering resources and manufacturing resources to getting that done. And so today, I'm proud to announce our PowerFlow intake system and turbo inlet for the 6.7 PowerStroke equipped trucks. Before I show it to you though, I wanna go over the factory stuff. It's pretty hard to see what's going on when everything's installed on these trucks. So let's pull out the couple different versions that have come on these trucks to date, go through where the issues are and how we're gonna fix them. So we have both of our basic intake system designs that have come on the trucks to date. This one's 2011 to 19 model year trucks. This one's 2020 to current, which is late 2022 now, and they haven't changed it yet. Let's start with this one since it came on there first. We have two things that are going on here. We have the latter end of our cold air intake system, which we call our turbo inlet. So your air is coming from your air box into this oval shape inlet here and then down travels about 18 inches down to the inlet of the turbo. So air goes through your turbo, goes out to intercooler, to the intercooler, and then here into your throttle valve. Once it passes through the throttle valve is where the bulk of the problem is really happening. And so right through here is a big wall that the air hits and has to kind of spiral around your EGR boss, down, up through, and then into your upper plastic manifold and wise into each cylinder head. And so since the flow paths are actually almost identical between these, like the flow data, everything's very similar. I'm gonna focus on this so you can actually better see what is going on. So let's get this thing out of the way. And so they split it up in 2020, which is nice. And so now your whole intake manifold is cast aluminum and your turbo inlet is plastic. And so this is basically your flow path for your turbo inlet. And there's a few inefficiencies it's kind of chopped away to clear this area and whatnot. Uh, but overall, this and the 11 and 19 version are almost identical. And so here's where the problem really starts to show. And so we chopped away this outer wall here on the front of your intake manifold so you can see better what's going on. And so kind of envision your airflow being this quarter inch extension is going to come through your throttle valve. It's going to hit the face of your EGR boss all your air coming through the center, and then anything coming around the outside edge is gonna travel back and it's gonna hit this wall behind. Now right here is a little bit of a ramp that kind of starts a spiral flow path going around your EGR boss, down and back up through here and then to your Y. So here is really the bulk of our issue and what we really wanted to focus on, and then we cleaned up a couple of areas as well. So let's break out the big guns and show you what we got. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the PowerFlow intake manifold and turbo inlet combo. Both these guys are constructed completely of mandrel bent tubing, fully TIG welded here in Florida, all CNC machine flanges, CNC lasered brackets that we stocked in all of our standard powder coat colors. Let's start with the turbo inlet since it sees airflow first. You can see right away, we replicated the oval shape of the factory unit exactly, which is really important so that either your stock cold air intake or an aftermarket one you may have purchased already is gonna mate up to that. You can see our transition is super smooth. So that and our real smooth routing that we were able to obtain got us right out of 15% flow gain over factory, which is really nice for cold air components. Another thing with our routing that we took into consideration is the disaster prevention kits, which are very popular for these trucks at protecting your fuel system if you have a fuel pump failure. Those kits generally space up your fuel control valve or overflow valve, whatever you want to call it, a little bit, which can conflict even with the factory unit. So we took that into consideration and made sure we cleared the major kits there. You can see we have machine CCV adapter, just like factory, so that hose clips on the same way. We maintain your same mounting locations that your factory turbulent has to keep this one secure to the motor, as well as gave you a third hole for your 
harness to clip into, just like the factory unit. And now the real star of the show. You can see right away, there's no wall. There's no EGR boss here at the inlet. We have very smooth, direct flow path. And actually our EGR inlet boss is further back here. And we were able to obtain that by actually taking your EGR inlet tube and rotating it 180 degrees. It's very fortunate that the flanges on both sides of that tube are identical, so you can do that. And what that allowed us to do is get your incoming EGR gases to come in at a much more acute and more parallel flow path to your intake stream. So once we get to that, you can see we have a beautiful Y that divides our flow to either cylinder head really nicely. And then the inlet on those cylinder heads is actually this kind of kidney bean oval shape. So we maintain our round cross section as long as possible because that's the most efficient for flow. And then the last couple inches, we transition via our forming process to that exact oval shape. Also, our flanges are O-ring groove, just like the factory unit. We have a machine map sensor port here for your map sensor to plug into. You can see it's kind of hidden on the back to keep it you know, real clean look, but still accessible in the truck if you ever need to maintain or swap that out for some reason. Maintain the same location for your dipstick mount so that stays secure. And then also same mounting location as the factory unit on the front here to keep this thing really rigidly mounted to the engine. So all that added up to a 66% flow gain, which is in the top tier of the gains that we achieved across our entire product line. It's huge for something like this. Um, and that's flat line. That's pretty much across the entire flow curve. It's not just the peak, the best gain we could have. It's a linear, gain across the whole thing. So you guys all the way down to stock power level, low RPM are gonna see that the whole way. And then lastly, our throttle valve flange is in the exact same location as factory, which is really important for you guys who may have upgraded your cold side charge tube already, which is very problematic for these. So if you have that upgrade or you're running factory, it's gonna bolt right up to this, no issue. The only thing that's not shown here is our basic hardware package. This is gonna come with every nut and bolt, factory level OEM gaskets, everything you need to do the install with this, full color instructions that complement our install video that we have as well for you. That pretty much wraps it up for these guys. I'm really excited for them and what they're gonna do for the 6.7 Power Stroke market. If this video on our website doesn't address any questions that you do have, please check out our website. We're constantly adding information to that. If it's not there, we're here for you. Shoot us an email, give us a call, and thanks for watching.